Hello and welcome to Adikimi's YouTube channel. My name is Harsh and in this video we shall discuss the current affairs and gazette for today 5th of April 2022. Welcome participants. Thank you for answering these two questions. Uh, Bhabani, Amlan, Netra, Kriti, welcome all of you. Vivek, Hima, Ashish, welcome back all of you and thank you for answering these questions. The, the inputs that have been posted towards the end, towards the conclusion, very insightful. Hima and Ashish, Great work, Netra, you too, and Kriti. Good one. Very good, all of you. So let's begin this discussion. What do we have in the current affairs? Uh, before we discuss what we have in the current affairs, I have something for you. The key to success is consistency. The key to success is being, is doing the same thing repeatedly again and again. It's because consistency is more important than uh, perfection. Because only when we are consistent, we slowly understand what is the value of uh, increasing our efforts and making it uh, better than before right and with consistency comes uh, comes excellence so we I what do we I we look at perfection we I perfection but we'll settle for excellence right so with this thought in mind let's begin what do we have uh, in the current affairs segment today we have IPCC report the third segment of the the assessment report 6 has also been released. The second segment was released only in February and they have been working rigorously to release a 3600 page. Again, the second report was also 3600 pages. 3600 pages of IPCC part 3 of the same report. And um, so we will understand this in short today what it is about. Some of the newspapers have covered this, some have not. Competition Commission of India has presented, the DG of CCI has presented a report on unfair practices the basis was on which I had given a question here. Unfair practices being conducted by some organizations, right? So one of them being research is uh, the uh, apps Zomato and uh, uh, Swiggy and the other ones which have been researched are the bigger players like Google, like Apple. We will understand what is this uh, thing about. The third uh, report is on uh, WHO's suspension of co-vaccine. Uh, right, so co-vaccine initiated by India, but then WHO has suspended the worldwide release of this vaccination. What is the reason? We'll understand. This day in history dedicated National Maritime Day featured news on BIMSTEC summit, a really important summit that has happened uh, just 31st of March. And we will understand in this article a lot about BIMSTEC. What is the role of BIMSTEC? What is the participation? What have been the impact? of this particular summit, why is this summit more important, how is it relevant for India and also um, what are the countries doing about uh, their own sectoral growth, right. So we will understand this in details in the feature news. Image of the day on an invisible artwork, we will understand more, beautiful artwork, <laughs> what it is we will understand. Terms and concepts, J form, Covid variant, XC, Chetak, helicopters and Tata new. Editorials for today, the first one is on gender positive responses at um, various places like educational institutions. The second one is on India uh, India and uh, uh, the, the process of mediation between Ukraine and Russia. And the third one is on the zinc trade with South Korea. Very, very peculiar article to understand about the rules of origin. Today's case study is on uh, the lady who started making pickles to earn her uh, living during COVID times. Beautiful inspiration. Let's begin this. Hi Kim, good evening to you. Now, before we begin this, let me share with you a couple of important, uh, you know, just images of what I saw in newspapers. That was this. One of the important sites that I had in the newspapers. I'd like to present these as well sometimes. So, special screening of um, a tele-series Vidrohi, which is on the basis of uh, Paika Rebellion. Paika Rebellion of 1817. Now, Paika Rebellion, it has been... It has been in news lately and now they are also, you know, putting in focus in these kind of uh, things, historical events, right? We have covered Paika Rebellion, 1817. It was asked by various factions of people that this one be considered, Paika Rebellion be considered as the first war against the Britishers for independence. 1817, 40 years before the war of 1857, right? So, uh, 27, 37, 47, 57. Forty years before. So, uh, Paika Rebellion in news, we have covered this. So, do remember this. The person uh, in focus is uh, Bakshi Jag Bandhu, right? So, this was the person who had pioneered the revolt against the Britishers there. All right, this is one. Uh, the government has, you don't have to read all this. I'll just explain to you what it means. The center proposes to integrate development of highway infrastructure. Gati Shakti is the program in news. And under Gati Shakti, we are speaking about national highway development. Now, have you not seen places where highways got developed? 
and then after that people are excavating because they want to uh, you know put the pipelines there and later comes the electricity pipelines right other previous were with water pipelines and then we have electricity pipelines and after that we also have to give the right of way to the uh, broadband connectivity in number of times the road have been created and then uh, paved again and again just because the right of way to the other entities also was to be created this is where this is the place where central government says that we want to inculcate the best practices while the road is getting constructed all the integrated development towards the highway towards any road development should happen together the article itself clearly says water pipelines electricity supplies the digital connectivity all of them to be done at the time when the road is getting created so good practice do remember this all right competition commission of india pro against zomato we will understand this okay so getting to what do we have what we have as the first article by the way you people know what is happening in pakistan it has been in the news all the time we would study that if it was pakistan public service commission but for india yes yes it is important for india as well in some regard how our neighbor is uh, you know destabilized right now political scenario so that sometime you know we'll cover that as well but then uh, we have so many important articles for uh, india itself so the first article that we have here is ipcc report mitigation of climate change all right so the first article is the basis uh, is based on the 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 report this is the third segment of the assessment report ar6 see this report is very important interview it will get asked upsc main exam last time it was asked every time an assessment report comes there is a very very big change that happens throughout the whole world policy level changes for example kyoto protocol was a result of uh, the passage of uh, the assessment report before that the un fcc's conference of parties the meetings were be were held because of assessment reports not only that the uh, uh, the paris climate agreement was also a resultant of uh, one of the uh, cops right similarly this is the cop number this is the assessment report number 6 which has been released night right now this is only a segment which has gotten released they have the report will be released in four parts three of which have already gotten released the first one last year it covered the physical science basis the basis of climate change the second one speaks about which got released in this year speaks about adaptation and vulnerability the impact adaptation and vulnerability and the third segment of the report which has been which has come up only now it speaks about uh, uh, the climate change right impact and uh, one more report oh yes this is the report mitigation of climate change this is the third one that has come up and uh, the one which will come up later will be a uh, uh, a mixture of all these three reports mixture of all these three reports which will be called as synthesis report and how the world should act towards it right so four reports and each of them have got uh, various important insights for all the national governments to act upon this is only the background this is the most important document which talks about see they, they do not research they only collate the content most important content and they put it at a place so that the world knows what is happening around the whole world all right the world today we see is the one which is going through increased number of climatic disasters because of and human induced because of uh, because of the kind of industrialization the lifestyle we have started to adopt right be it melting of glaciers be it burning of forest fires and start looking at the examples arctic antarctic right ice free regions will be created after 2050 uh, the burning of forest fires right the uh, happening in india right just happen at uh, uh sariska uh, last week right more number of uh, uh, cyclones tropical cyclones getting formed flooding at places increased droughts increased droughts increased heat presence of more of uh, uh, the uh, heat waves all this is an impact of climate change and this is what the report also speaks of it says the report the third part report again it re reiterates that 1.6 degree celsius see we had envisaged 1.5 degree celsius maximum temperature rise to the limit that it could go to 2, 2 degrees celsius right and this is what was called as a tipping point beyond which there will be no repair in climate and around the whole world however since we have already attained 1.1 degree celsius of rise of temperature since pre industrialization levels what is expected is that the temperature rise will be above 3 degree celsius above 3 degree celsius by the end of century if major policy 
benchmarks are not reset. If we do not reset, the by the time it is 2100, 2100, the end of this century, the there will be 3 degrees Celsius rise in temperature. There has already been 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature since pre-industrialized times. So, this is one thing the report says. The report is very significant for us to understand. Now, this is where I want to show you the statement that has been released by uh, the United Nations Secretary General, right? Secretary General says that this is a litany of broken climate promises. It has been released everywhere. The Secretary General says it has been the litany of broken climate promises by governments and corporations. It is a file of shame cataloging the empty pledges that put us firmly on the track towards unlivable world. Ah, okay. So, uh, limits to growth, right? Limits to growth. This is what the report is pointing at that uh, we have achieved two levels which where we are leading to unlivable world and this is a litany of broken climate promises. Litany means petitions, a lot of petitions, requests, a lot of requests, right, so that the climate change does not happen, but then they have not been fulfilled, they have only been catalogued at one place. The IPCC was set up in 1988 and since then it has been working towards, uh, uh, you know, making people aware about climate changes by World Meteorological Organization and UNEP, United Nations in one program. So, uh, moving ahead to uh, the segments of this report, okay, very important. What the report speaks of are very, very good, uh, beautiful findings. So, this is different from what was part of the finding in the second assessment report. So, let me share with you very quickly something that you should know, right? Not everything should be written down, but something you should know. One of them is that the emissions, the annual emissions have only increased, but the rate of rise is not as compared to the last decade. It is lesser. The rate of rise in the last decade was higher because of the numbers. So, they see if the numbers are baseline is low, the, it will seem to be higher mo moving at a faster pace in the in that particular decade. But now since we have risen at a level, so the rate of rise will be less. However, the rise effective rise total number is more. I hope you understand this point. So, this is the first and most important uh, finding. The second important finding is that um, uh, the unit cost of low emission technologies low emission technologies, technologies which ensure that the emission is low, right? For example, uh, uh, we have uh, various discharge units which absorb carbon dioxide, right? So, those technologies cost have only dropped with time. This is an important finding. The third one is that innovation is lagging in developing countries. We know that. And the fourth, it says that digitization is a way we can measure the climate change. However, this is a two-edged sword, double-edged sword. This is what it says. Digitization also has impacts. For example, we increase the usage of digitization and we don't uh, have a circular economy in digitization going to create impact, right? So, this is, uh, we have some important uh, findings I am speaking about. Along with that, it says that uh, uh, we are going to exceed most probably 1.5 degrees Celsius, you know, by the end of 20, 20, 21st century. And this is what it says is the tipping point, tipping point, climate tipping point irreversible changes will happen beyond this, right? So, this is one, uh, another important input. Along with that, the report says that, uh, see, so bringing some background to this so that it is more relatable and not uh, something that uh, you cannot relate to. You remember these reports, emission gap report, production gap report, adaptation gap report, all of these three reports. So, emission, this is one, adaptation and production, all these three, these three words are very important for you. We have not been producing the fossil fuels at the rate we wanted to produce. We have been producing them at a far, more, far, far uh, higher rate than required. And all these three, all these uh, uh, graphs have a similar structure. Right. So, the production has been more than what has been declared. What has been declared is this. The production has been more than that. Along with that, what is required for 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise is de decrease it further. And this is for 2 degrees Celsius. Imagine what is the gap. Same is the gap in adaptation levels. Same is the gap in emission levels. We are emitting far more. And what is required? The report itself says very clearly. So, you can quote all of these. These are all reports presented by United Nations in one program, the same agency which has released this uh, assessment report 6. 
uh, they very very clearly say that we need to cut down the emissions from present levels to around 40 percent 40 percent levels cutting down is required in case we want to uh, uh, you know limit the impacts up to 1.5 degree celsius temperature rise india and china have contributed more than 50 percent to the net increase in greenhouse gas emissions during the last 20 years right more than 50 percent so let me show you the image where we talk about the countries contributing which are the countries china around 30 so if it says 2014 global emissions but 2020 emissions are also very similar china around 28 percent emission half of it around 14 percent total emission is by united states around half of this again 14 percent that is seven percent is by european union all the countries combined and similar is the contribution of india so countries taken together european union is the third largest contributor if not taken together india is the third largest contributor as simple as that and then russian federation japan and other countries also so india and uh, india and china have been lately in the last 20 years contributed to more than 50 percent of the emission yesterday only we saw australia increasing its supply of coal to other countries right various nations which are lobbying around coal and petroleum saudi arabia says petroleum production must only increase with time right emerging economies like india brazil turkey south africa have high transport related carbon emissions from urban areas oh okay so delhi 30 percent of pollution in delhi is through internal sources delhi state and out of this 30 percent 50 percent is contributed through transport related one good example for you please start quoting this right okay and but one good factor is that both india and china in the last three four years after 2015 both the countries have started showing a decoupling of the economic growth and the release of the greenhouse gases decoupling very important term that means that the that the gdp is rising but the rise net rise of the emissions is not happening proportionally it is lesser than that that means that we are moving towards cleaner technology so good change okay see 20 years india china yes a lot of emissions but the, the last three four years they have uh, shown lesser emissions all right without the strengthening of policies we see a temperature rise of 3 3.2 degree by 2100 right this is important uh, what else technologies like carbon storage carbon capture and storage uh, deploying carbon dioxide removal methods so uh, carbon sequestration blue carbon green carbon yellow carbon jo bhi hai, all the colors all are important here all right so very important report this will be spoken of in many many uh, in times to come by a lot of experts but this is the excerpt this is the short summary of this report itself right so have six seven points about the summary of this report what the report speaks of what are the shortcomings or what are the ways in which we are going to uh, adapt to it right so mitigation one way is to mitigate right record the capacities and speed of implementation see they are speaking of limiting the production mitigation options right and they say it differs from sector to sector it differs from region to region it depends from country to country okay very generic right then it says that mitigation option at scale usko magnify karna that is a challenge right and that must be addressed then it says that um, these barriers that we see they can also be enablers the barriers to the change for example non-presence of technology alternate fuel sources so these are not only barriers these are also drivers of the change what are the drivers example geophysical environmental technological economic factors right so look at the presence of alternate energy why koila jala rahe ho na petroleum use kar rahe ho tabhi problem so you look at the alternates right through these capacities Climate governance must be given prime focus around the countries, right? So measures like grassroots empowerment. If you can remember this, this will be important. Grassroots empowerment. The second one is uh, mitigation measures, which will empower, which will, which will need laws, punitive laws, which will need facilitative laws. These are relevant, all right? So this is what the report uh, uh, speaks of, all right? Do remember the fact that uh, the report says that we need the curtailing down of, to as much as 40% levels. That is very important. 40% levels of the production of uh, gases right now to be able to curtail to one and a half to two degree Celsius by the end of the century. Okay. So six, seven points from this report become very important.
Okay. I'll take up the questions after the three updates. The second update is Competition Commission of India report on unfair practices. Competition Commission of India created through Act in 2002. It is a body which ensures that the competitive practices be maintained. Simple example is the fact that if I want to be one of the players who wants to have a satellite kitchen, satellite kitchen, I hope you understand the concept. I have a kitchen at home and I am selling my articles from home. There is no seating arrangement. I am just, you know, uh, uh, creating the item here and then somebody is delivering, dispatching the item. Zomato does the work of intermediary. So does Swiggy. So does the uh, uh, Food Panda, right? Ola. So uh, here, Competition Commission of India states that there are some, and Director General of the Competition Commission of India, they have said that there are some uncompetitive practices that are happening. That means that some stakeholders at some platform, they are not getting the preference. Who is not getting the preference? Here we are speaking of uh, Google itself. So we have Google Play, we have App Store, right? Like uh, Apple Store. Now, Google Play, is a place where you can get apps having said that google itself has got an app google pay google company having a google play a place where we, we can get apps and then we also have to pay for the apps some specific apps and google pay is the only preferred mode for payment for those apps is that not a conflict of interest google owning an app store and then if you want to purchase an app, you have to pay through Google Pay only. This is where the DG of Competition Commission of India says that the, there are many other uh, UPI uh, apps, Phone Pay, Paytm, Veeam, etc. They do not get any preference. And this is blatant breach of the competitive practices. See, this is what the uh, CCI DG has said. Even Competition Commission of India has said the same thing, similar things previously. And these findings are not just for India, these findings are at global level. Apple also has been uh, discriminated against uh, at times, right? Uh, similarly, there are other practices of similar kind. For example, a very simple example that was also present in the newspaper. So the CCI has initiated another probe against Zomato and Swiggy. These companies have you the app with yourself. And what they do is that they promote certain entities, certain companies and certain companies who are new players in the market, they are not promoted, right? There are delays in payment. Now see, they are food products. For example, if you order a dosa, which is for 200 rupees, the, the written price is 200 rupees there. The hotel, the restaurant writes it. But then the dosa is available for 100 rupees. You know why? Because Zomato has given off of, of 100 rupees. But these the, uh, the amount available to the person who is creating the product will be 200 rupees zomato will be giving off for 100 rupees and that is the reason that many of these companies they are right now suffering losses that's absolutely true zomato Sugi all running in losses so uh, creating a habit of eating you know the food from outside so when they suffer losses should they not be making the payment to the person who's creating the food the satellite kitchen yes those payments are getting delayed to people their app their their restaurant is not getting promoted only few people who are already established are getting promoted this is because there are some levels of payment that are happening to zomato to promote their restaurants as simple this is against competition this is against competitive practices so competition commission of india very important body see abhi lately only today it was highlighted that hdfc bank and HDFC Limited, both of them are going to see merger, one of the biggest and largest mergers happening in the country and they will combine contribute to the market capitalization only next to Reliance, Reliance Industries Limited and TCS will fall as the third one. So this is one of the largest mergers but all these mergers have been approved only by the board right now. Competition Commission of India will further see whether this is going to increase competition in the market or decrease. If it decreases, it will not allow such mergers to happen. Although these are, you know, HDFC Limited and HDFC Bank, one of them is the parent company of the other. But then this usually happens in cases of mergers of, uh, you know, less linked companies. Right? For example, uh, Competition Commission of India would definitely want to see if Tata, I'm just giving an example, if Tata has two or three airlines working for themselves, right? For example, Air India, Air Asia and the third one is there's another one uh, there's another one right so they have they've got three ventures in association right so Tata then similarly uh, there are only two apps 
uh, uh, you know for uh, telecommunications so there are two only only two service provider jio and airtel these are the big ones and government is trying to retain the vodafone idea also had you know participation through stakes purchase 35 percent of stakes so that you know there may be they could be decent competition among the stakeholders right so competition and anti-competitive practices very important during the time of distress economic distress we see a lot of acquisitions mergers happening so these are the times when we see a thing like this happening the article says the complaint against google is a part of global discourse against the rules enforced by com company on developers right this is a part of the discourse against rules enforced by the company on developers it requires app makers to use in built-in payment systems it requires them to use the built-in payment systems to sell apps and services built-in so uh, google ka built-in is by default uh, google pay since the case began japan both south korea have also said you can't do this kind of payment so they are making alternate changes you know some some free content to be introduced some third party payment to be used so this is what they're doing right now so important for you okay you should know what it is all right this is what we explained and there are a lot of uh, sales happening global consumer spendings on app stores on app store and google play you see the kind of spendings people have done around 120 billion dollars in the last year 120 billion dollars okay so this is a this is not a joke and uh, this is indirectly promoting the google's app itself all right now the dg has presented the report competition commission of india is not bound to follow the report but it does usually happen that they you know they have similar stance who suspension of co vaccine see there were vaccines generated in quick time around the whole world and one of the vaccines generated was uh, covid shield another was co vaccine now who had uh, listed these these vaccinations for delivery across the whole world with the help of emergency use listing emergency use listing and then they could authorize this vaccine for who delivery throughout the whole world india has been one of the countries which has been delivering these vaccinations throughout the whole world goodwill diplomacy selling it outside good 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 job see so the total vaccines created covid shield 75 crore doses co vaccine 50 crore 55 crore doses but but though that time the uh, you know the creation and delivery was happening but then it was found out by who that these facilities which are being used for covid vaccine creation they used to be created they used to be the places sites where other vaccinations were being uh, or other drugs were being produced for example rabies for example tuberculosis malaria all these diseases drugs or vaccinations were being created so who said that you need to shut down this in whole setup you need to start creating a new setup which is according to the standard for covid vaccinations there is no problem with co vaccine if you have taken it there is no problem with covid shield if you have taken it who only has the uh, you know uh, question that the standard procedure in which the lab has to be formed or the conditions optimal for production of co vaccine they need to be altered here right because you not created this lab for this purpose you created it for something else you need to change the standard this is what they say right so who has recently suspended the supply of co vaccine through un procurement agencies and has recommended the countries to take appropriate actions on the same okay so the co vaccine is effective and there is no safety concern so don't worry about this uh, WHO has asked the company to address deficiencies in good manufacturing prop, uh, pra practices and upgrade the facilities. Ab dekho, the issue with upgradations are this. What have they been manufacturing? Polio, rabies, Japanese encephalitis vaccine, all these. right? The issue with upgradation is that we will have to stop the manufacturing of this entity right now. And then if, if it takes 120 days for the complete supply chain management of one vaccination that is created. 120 days. If you, sub, if you stop it, then how are we going to have booster doses? This is a question. How are we going to deliver vaccinations throughout the whole country? This is a question, right? Creation of a new setup will require funds, will require entities which have to be imported in the country. That is also not there, supply chain constraints. So this is one challenge. Although the co-vaccine facility, they have already said, we will do it. Bharat Biotech has said, we will do it. We'll do the needful requirement for complete shutdown procurement of new equipment question 120 days manufacturing time this all will get stopped 
अपग्रेड अर्जेंसी टू वैक्सीनेट दी पॉपुलेशन अभी किसी को डोज नहीं मिला है ना अपार्ट फ्रॉम पीपल इन एमरजेंसी वर्क सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज नाउ नाउ इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द कंट्रीज विच हैज बीन सप्लाइंग द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन अराउंड द होल वर्ल्ड एक्सपोर्टिंग सी सो दिस इज द थिंग supply is all about attitude the us uk are not sharing their vaccine with other countries top covid vaccine producers china usa india european union britain india alone to provide over 80% of doses of covax initiative set up to supply vaccines to poor nations ab dekho if india is the only one which is supplying so india is facing the heat of who that is all okay this is what is in news so don't worry about vaccinations that you people have taken they are all safe right but then uh just that the manufacturing facility has to be upgraded according to the standards that's it all right uh today is uh, this day in history is dedicated to national maritime day all right president's a mm, uh, president medal was awarded to one of the naval units lately right so this is the update here all right sustainable shipping beyond covid 19 feature news for today is on bimstech summit fifth one the last one was organized in, in the year 2018 hosted by nepal and um, this one is a very relevant because the the agendas which had to be served they have been streamlined out of 14 agendas they have cut down to seven agendas each of the seven members have been given one agenda india has been awarded security to be looked after to look after the security of all these seven nations now we will understand in this feature news what is the stake of our country india in bimstech how do we develop it any further what are the challenges what are the impediments and what are the uh, opportunities for a country like india what have been the recent issues which have been picked up by bimstech in the feature news for today okay now the next article for us today is image of the day oh beautiful image so this is a receipt for the payment done for an invisible art created uh, of uh, times you know 60 year plus years back around 1950s right and this is a french artist and what he did was that there was an empty art it was placed inside a room inside a cabinet and there was nothing inside that uh, cabinet right empty art and people would subjectively interpret what it contains and they would give the check or amount in gold and this is how they would pay the artist right many of the payments were made through these kind of uh you know currency payments you can see in this image and um, these were the receipts given to people for the payments made all right and payments were also made in gold people who did not like or did not understand the art well some of the people they burned this art threw in river scene in france and um, in fact uh, the uh, creator of this art this empty art that person also you know he also threw some amount of money that he earned in lieu of such kind of uh, burnings right so non what is it the collectors were given an opportunity to purchase a work from the non existent conceptual series they were also given the choice either to keep the receipt that i'm showing here or burn them uh, in a ritual for for, for uh, yes uh, all right for those who chose to burn clean the artist the artist name is uh, yes clean also dumped half the gold he was paid for the work in river scene imagine this so um, uh, very uh, different kind of art being created uh, i remember having discussed on one of the images of the, of the day an art an invisible art which was placed uh, at uh, i think that was paris again paris again that was 6 months back i had discussed and people paid for that space right so one has got their interpretations of anything that is happening right they can interpret anything about it they could see buddha there they could see uh, silence there right so this is the image of the day for you people before moving on to the terms and concepts let me quickly look at the questions that you people have posted or some comments hmm yes code red for humanity kriti brilliant Kriti mentions those two important keywords: code red for humanity and tipping point, climate tipping point. Okay. His house is sixty kilometers to my location. Whose house? Netra says emission production. Ha, Netra, good, good that you remember. Amlan says uh, investment in green sector going to yield huge 
yes yes adani stocks also going up all the companies cloud kitchens good concept vistara air vistara yes good one air vistara air india and um, another one one of my brother faced the same problem piggy zomato yes p i'm not saying is they faced the same problem of competition commission that's absolutely true in fact i have shared you uh, shared with you people the issue with uh, youtube as well youtube youtube ads they are not very transparent right so once people pay for the promotion of their ads uh, it does not reach the end consumer right for example xyz app for example xyz xyz has got content on their videos and uh, you know every 15 seconds or every 2 minutes some of the ads are being displayed here so this person should receive some finances for the ads no because their video is very popular they are this this transparency between the people who are paying for the ads and here is google who owns youtube they are not making it transparent inko kitna mila and how much they are giving right so google has these accusations running across the whole world so amran says today i read a person from germany got 90 doses of vaccines for the money because many people hesitate to take vaccine okay whether who recent suspension in result of india stand on ukraine i doubt a thing like this is so such because i really doubt a thing like this is such i'm not sure they just need to upgrade their facility that's it kriti says an indian man received nearly dozen doses because he claimed vaccines okay but then you know in india receiving more doses than what has been approved by the government is also not allowed right now illegal doses is received by people this is uh, not allowed at all in the country only people who has got the authorization to re receive the booster doses can receive it oh jagbandhu okay where is is home very close to your place okay seema says their mind cannot understand these type of art okay but you look at the art from the perspective of the finances it generates i and what about looking at the art from the perspective of um, creativity for example um, imagining you sitting on the seat of uh, dc of uh, lucknow how about that just imagine that and it it will start to appear in the world right so just creative levels of imagination people imagine so much and they start paying so hefty that's also there okay terms and concepts the first term for today is j form see this is the first state punjab which has started to have digitized versions of the payment that the that the farmers are making digitized versions of the payments and that is what they call as j form all right a particular name of the form and this is how it look, looks like earlier these uh, payment were being made and uh, some receipt was being given but this receipt was manual they were not digital in nature and this was being done by the help of commission agents now this all will be digitized every person's total payment receipt payments made and how much production was you know sold in the market all would be recorded this is going to help everybody and you know why it is going to help everybody is because government will know who has created how much of uh, wealth government will know what has been the production productivity at a particular place so a good step by the government digitizing the uh, payments happening right so people know and crop insurance crop productivity the kind of inputs that government needs to do give they will be further uh, rationalized accordingly all right so people uh, these forms will be delivered to people on their whatsapp number good one covid variant xc a new variant has come up all right new variant of sub variant of ba12 a combin and combination of both sub variants ba1 ba2 of omicron okay then we will see the recombinant variant is believed to be 10% more transmissible than ba2 sub variant okay chetak helicopter okay if you remember yesterday we spoke about uh, uh, dhruv and uh, another helicopter l advanced advanced light helicopter right we are creating indigenously and it has got features like uh, it can lift off with 6 ton of weight move at a faster pace right uh, move at 2 and 2 and a half km 100 kilometers space and 500 uh, kilo, kilometers at once offensive capabilities but look at the primitive helicopters that we have had right 
so this is cheetah and this is chetak just two terms of capacity the the H, the advanced light helicopter that i spoke of that has got a capacity of lift off of around 6.5 tons these are just two tons right so advanced version of each other this is closed this is got no more seating capacity this got just few people seating capacity so it has been 60 years of institutionalizing of cheetah and chetak in indian air force that's what is in news so we covered an image of this ensuring and then these helicopters both of them are due to getting replaced right so however it has been military's workhorse for decades ease of flight and maintain versatility personified and every pilot's favorite as it can be used for landing in restricted areas in diverse terrains and on warships small helicopters require less move less space for movement small helicopters they can go very high cross the mountains and land on the other fields also so that is the reason that they can be easily utilized on a terrain like uh, diverse terrain for example uh, uh, ladakh region as well right see so maximum speed 185 km per hour only and offensive capabilities not at all there tata new okay what is this this is the super app that we speak of every time tata new have a look the logo like this and Tata has launched this app. See, Tata was in, in the process of uh, acquisitions. Starbucks, India's acquisition, right? Vistara or the airline ticket payment. If you want um, uh, products delivered at your home, right? For example, groceries, you have an app earlier and now you have all integrated. Big Basket, we had an app earlier. All integrated in this app because Big Basket purchased by Tata. Chroma Electronics, right? We have Reliance Digital. Now, Chroma is competing with them. Similarly, we have Westside. Westside is owned by Tata, right? Westside. So, uh, Trend. Trend is their uh, name on the uh, stocks, right? And then footwear, watches. So, home utility products, hotel booking, Taj hotels, or if you want airline ticket, all of them on the same app. This is called as a super app. Tata New, one of the important super apps getting lost in the country. And then F1MG, hospital medical treatment all of them big basket medicine so good example you should start using an example like this so put tata new right here and write whatever kind of services you want hotels okay and you want along with hotels we want uh, movement airline airline is one example of movement along with that you want you're staying in the same city so booking uh, uh, grocery through big basket okay no worries you want medical facilities one one mg is right there you want uh, electronics, then you have uh, Chroma. You want uh, uh, other entities, for example, uh, uh, the house, houseware items. Uh, we have Westside, all of them on the same app. And this is what uh, companies will start doing in times to come. Will this generate competition? No, this is against competition. See, when I asked you a question on competitive practices, the idea was to make you feel how tough is it getting these days to start an entity from zero, right? For example, allow me to give a simple example. Edukemi and compare this with Unacademy or Baiju's. Baiju's having a worth of 1.5 lakh crores, even more, right? American market access, all of them. They've got humongous capabilities. Wow, that's a, that's a different thing that they're, uh, uh, you know, it could be an academy, another one, right? 20,000 crores plus of valuation. So th their spending capacity, their uh, innovation, that will be different, definitely different from other stakeholders in the market. That is absolutely, it is very natural. It is a different thing that the quality is different. That's a different thing. But then the access to resources, finances is one challenge that the uh, budding people they might face very simple so in front of tata imagine a local app which has come a new app which has come imagine the presence of a local kirana store just trying to digitize its services small and medium businesses but then tata difference all right okay let me quickly look at the questions you can see upsc in this art oh yeah yeah absolutely Okay, moving ahead to editorials. We have three editorials. The first one could be this one. India's zinc trade deficit with Korea 
tells why we need industry input on deals. Okay, good example of this. India has just earmarked a deal with Australia. India also earmarked a deal with uh, UAE. And India also did have a SIPA deal with South Korea, Japan. Now, the problem with the, the deals that we did with South Korea is this, the rules of origin. See, South Korea is not a zinc producing state. It is not a zinc producing state, South Korea. But then it processes zinc to certain levels. See, the countries which are zinc producing states, I would like to show you in the image here. The data from United States Geological Survey shows that in 2019, India was the fifth largest country for zinc mining with a share of 5.6% after China, Peru, Australia and USA. See, so Australia and USA stakeholders, Peru and China and India was the fifth. There was no South Korea. But then South Korea has been seen as that country from where we are importing zinc processed products. How is it possible? It is, it is possible because South Korea is importing the raw zinc and then it is processing the zinc to a level right lesser level so this is where the government said that 35 percent you have to process it to 35 percent levels and then only sell across to other stakes stakeholders for example us only but then all this has distorted the trade that india has had with south korea south korea we didn't envisage that zinc is what we will be importing but we are importing zinc see in the last uh, this is post the sepa treaty that we have see 10 2010 11 and post that the data has been presented here the the import from uh, south korea has only risen the purple indicator is that of the import and the uh, indicator the blue indicator is that of export the exports have been less than import that is fine but the there is a wider gap between export and import that is happening through imports like this zinc this is where we should know and we should have clear rules of origin we remember the example of vietnam trading with Malaysia over plastic products and importing from there because they have the ASEAN pact and they are not importing from India. We did not look into this. So India ASEAN bilateral trade, India is in deficit. This is the reason, right? Similarly with South Korea, we don't know the rules of origin well and we are trading. So we must choose our partners very carefully. This is the short and important summary, right? It says increased zinc import to India after signing FTA with Republic of Korea. Even though Korea has almost no zinc mine, this raises question relates to related to rules of origin. Article concludes with suggestion that issue related to RO should be addressed in future FTAs. So let us understand what Australia is importing. They reroute it to us. Very important. And, and we must have these uh, uh, you know, rules. For example, you must process 35% of the entity at least. Or if you are importing it from another country and then tagging it, that this is you know product from your country then we will have a differential rate of uh, you know taxation uh, for these products simple simple enough the second editorial is that of um, ukraine peace plan and it runs through india so this editorial very very wisely pre presented editorial this is from the hindu it says the last one from, was from uh, mint it says that there have been impacts of uh, the Ura ukraine and russia crisis so inflation around the whole world food crisis Thousands of people dying, right? Around 2,000 civilian people uh, have gotten injured, whatever it is known. And around 1,500 people have died in uh, Ukraine itself. Russia, the number of soldiers who have died is, uh, is upward of 7,000. So, casualties have happened. As many as one-fourth of the whole Ukraine population, it has gotten displaced. Yeah? displaced. Four crore people, and out of that, one crore people have gotten displaced. Many of, many of them moving out of Ukraine. Eastern Ukraine countries, their budget is now serving uh, the people here. So complete deflection of the budget, uncalled for. This is a no-win strategy for any of the stakeholders. This is what the editorial says in the beginning. Then it says that um, mediation should have been happening. Mediation is not happening. On the other hand, what is happening is, uh, uh, is a stand which has been taken on positions rather than interest. Deco, this is the very interesting part. You should note and you should use this. Countries have set, have taken stand on positions. We want this. We want this to happen. We want the freedom of Luhansk and Donetsk region. They should be recognized as independent states. This is what Russia has been saying. This is a position. Interest is what is Russia's core concern behind this position. Core concern of Russia is that the Russian people 
of who are minority in Ukraine, they should be respected, they should be treated well in Ukraine. This is what is the concern. So the country should be fighting more about the interest and not position. See, this is the difference. Abhi, please start using this. This comes very, very valid whenever we have any dispute between countries. Speak of interest and not on position. Position is static, interest can be negotiated. So this is where if you want to negotiate, countries say we want peace, we want peace. Okay, great. So then there should be a negotiator. Who is a negotiator? A, an interim party, a party in the middle. Example, a country like India. Country like India can become the one of the best mediators because India has not taken the stand against Russia. They will listen to us. India has not taken a stand against Ukraine. India also says that violence should be shunned. Yes. So both the parties will be there to listen. And this is the reason that we see, I feel goosebumps when these external negotiators, they come to India. This is such a big thing for a country like us. The Russian external affairs minister coming to India. Deputy National Security Advisor of USA coming to India, right? Ukraine's premier speaking that India must, you know, Russia ko marao. Let them know that they shouldn't be attacking us, right? So this is a great opportunity for a country like India. This is where the editorial gives a very wise opinion of what mediation means. It means as a, it means that a third party is joining to create a win-win situation, a negotiable win-win situation for the uh, warring parties. Unlike arbitration where there is one winner and one loser in mediation all the parties adjust and compromise a little so india can play that low role very well assisted negotiation this is what is called as mediation india can participate in shuttle diplomacy see many of these editorial now they are sometimes in response to the editorial that have been published previously so if you remember i spoke about shuttle diplomacy yesterday india can take the part of playing shuttle diplomacy and Many times when Russia wants to directly engage with the Ukraine, so they, they would want to talk, but then if these talks are not successful, they become reactive, right? We'll bombard. So right now, and even when Russian forces are retreating from places, there are casualties happening. I have some images. Have a look. Uh, have a look at this image. I have taken it from uh, one of the places. Do I have it? No. So I don't have it right now. So dead body is just lying around the corner. And um, uh, so this is what is something that could be avoided. Reactive stances of the countries. But they happen. They usually happen when the countries do not have confidence on each other. And it, it when the confidence is not there on each other, then the countries will not be serving even their own goodwill. Even when Ukraine says we would like to stop fighting, Russia will not trust this. And either, either ways also. This is where mediation plays a very strong role, right? So, European security plan. This is the agenda. And Russia cannot be excluded out of this plan. Russia has to be a part of the plan. Russia and European Union, all of them being secure. So, a common security, common prosperity and peace. This is where the editorial concludes by saying that India can play a very important role in mediation. India can play a role in countering China. India can show how... We are the Vishwa Guru, the world leader here, right? This is how the editorial concludes. Second editorial. The third one speaks about creating gender positive learning spaces. See, uh, many people who have had, uh, uh, you know, gender changes, sex changes, or people who uh, are, are aware of their gender, but do not want to disclose it. At times, they are forced to participate with either the masculine gender or feminine gender. This is where if we have gender neutral spaces, if we have gender neutral libraries, if we have gender neutral toilets, if we have gender neutral um, hostels, this would be the way to go. This is what uh, one of the NALSA judgments also speaks of, right? So when people have the right to self-determination, they should have also the right against sexual harassment, right to really profess and, and to keep on doing what they want to do at personal spaces. So places like gender neutral places, like educational places, homely spaces, um, uh, hostels, uh, these are important places, right? For the gender and sexual minorities. Okay, very good point. So this is the editorial segment and coming to the last segment, uh, that is the case study. And before that, if you like this initiative, share some love through likes, comments and shares. We are recently going to make some beautiful changes so that you... Uh, so that it aids your preparation uh, quite well. So let's uh, get on with it, uh, possibly in the coming uh, 
week but then before that the case study today's case study is on the lady mrs usha gupta she has started to create pickles make pickles and sell them with the help of her granddaughter she lost her husband due to covid during times of covid but then she has not given up and what finances she creates out of creating uh, of uh, selling these uh, pickles she uses them uh, for helping people who have been impacted and who cannot uh, have the finances enough to uh, to counter the, the tragic situations so what an uh, initiative this is altruism this is charity this is working for the others what is our life if not lived for others this is what usha gupta proves right so i understand you each of you are an usha gupta and given the opportunity you would definitely want to do something as wonderful as that but as of now your charity begins at your own places at your own homes where you study well for the examination right now questions for offline viewers people if you have questions please put them down we will get back to you and uh, people who are viewing online please prepare notes let me look at the questions um bhavani says mass killing drone done by russia some minister okay all right bucha killings yes being popularized on in the newspapers now okay so eventually uh, we come to the conclusion of this video we will quickly move to the feature video on um, bimstech so let's switch our video and then uh, questions for people please post them offline on the chats all right thank you for participating and please note down the important uh, uh, updates from the uh, uh, today's updates thank you